Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Winning Women Wednesday with Lady Renee of Transformation Community Church. Thank you all so much for tuning in today and I pray that all is well with each and every one of you. Well, today I just stopped by just to encourage us to um, continue to walk with Jesus. Amen. I just want to encourage us to walk with God. So in order for us to truly walk with the Lord, we need to turn our backs or turn away from the world and all the things that this world has to offer. We have to turn away from anything, any person, any place, if you will, that sidetracks us from walking with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We have to turn away from everything that tries to derail us um, from walking with Jesus and just turn away from sin, in, in other words, right, and walk with God. Deuteronomy 5 and 33 says, uh, walk in obedience to all that the Lord your God has commanded you so that you may live and prosper and prolong your days in the land that you will possess. Now, as children of, of God, we must keep walking with God. We have to keep walking with Jesus. We live in this um, day and time where people are walking in ways that, that appear right in their eyes. Amen. And so we want I want us to stay encouraged and keep our focus on the Lord and, and walk um, in obedience to God's word. First John one, six through seven, it says, if we claim to have fellowship with him yet, but yet we walk in darkness, we lie and we do not live out the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus uh, has the blood of Jesus purifies us from all sin. Excuse me. So as children of God, we we don't walk in darkness. Amen. We walk in light. Amen. Because we're walking with Jesus. Amen. We are not led by the lust and the vials of this world. Um, as Christians, as children of God, we must walk in light. Why? Because God is light. Our Lord and Savior Jesus is light. We must walk in truth because our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is truth. Amen. And we must walk in love because our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is love. Amen. And so we don't want to, you know, be like some of the people what a lot of people like the world. Amen. There must be a distinction between us as children of God and the world. Amen. So we have to keep walking with God um, because, we're, again, we're living in a day of time where, you know, people are chasing um, after higher income or a higher income bracket and but have low low morals amen they're the they are um, doing things that are not of God or behaving in a way that's not pleasing to God so I want us to be encouraged again no matter what's going on around us no matter how people are at, acting around us for us to be encouraged to continue to walk with God. Amen. We have to keep walking in righteousness. We have to keep walking upright before the Lord. We have to keep walking blameless before the Lord. Amen. We have people, you know, people are caught up in their own opinions and that's fine. Everybody has an opinion, but they're caught up in their own opinions and voicing their opinions and want you to come on and, you know, be on their bandwagon more. So all that supersedes them um, exemplifying the love of Christ. Amen. Uh, the love of Christ in their lives. Amen. So I want to, again, encourage us. I just want to encourage us for us to stay encouraged and to keep our focus on God. Amen. To walk with him, to keep our hands in his unchanging hand. Amen. And so, you know, we, we're going to have to hold our tongue sometimes. Amen. And although it may be hard, we're going to have to shut our mouths. Sometimes we have to continue to walk with him during those times. Amen. We have to keep him in mind and walk with him during times when um, people may be slandering our name, people may be lying on us, people may be cheating, cheating on us and mistreating us, persecuting us. In the midst of all that, we have to continue to walk with God. Amen. So I want us to stay encouraged and we have to continue to walk in love, exemplify the love of Christ, just as Jesus did when all those things, all those opposition was coming against him. He continued to show love. Amen. So again, we, we you know, we're living in this day and time where 
you know, man, people don't honor their word, but God always keeps his word. Amen. We're seeing that, um, you know, the, the Bible prophecies are being fulfilled. We must honor God in all that we do and all that we say, whether in public or in private. Amen. We see, um, you know, the, the people of the world, uh, the, the, their love for one another, it gets colder and colder and colder each and every day. Amen. Their hearts are turning to stone more and more each and every day. Amen. Men are becoming lover of themselves. When I say men, I mean, I mean the entire human race, um, becoming lovers of themselves more so than lovers of God. But we, again, must keep our focus on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and continue to walk with the Lord. Amen. So I encourage us to seek the Lord and intensely, intentionally pray and ask God each and every day for a stronger appetite of his presence and of his word. Amen. And so as we go through this, this thing called life, as we navigate through this thing called life, continue to walk with Lord. We can't, we can't get through life without him. Amen. And so make sure that we're walking with the eyes of faith and make sure that we are walking and being led by the spirit of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So listen until next time, know that I love you, but God loves you so much more. Be intentional, love on purpose and walk with the Lord. Blessings. Mm -hmm.